Okay, let's see if we can master this lighting scheme. There's no mystery, it's just understanding. So here I've got a square room with three different styles of windows in. Let me just explain what I've done. And you'll see the benefit of it in a moment. So if I go from one wall to another, a regular window, and then on the south side a glass door and a circular window, and over on the west wall there is a window with a lattice in it. So there it is. Let's have a look at the floor plan. So what can we do? Simple little design in here, a couple of base units, a wall unit and a plant standing. Well, understanding lighting themes is very, very easy. For us to understand it fully, if I turn on perspective, there is a perspective. All I want you to know is that now there is no real need to add artificial lighting unless you actually want to sell it because the light comes in naturally from windows and doors as you'll soon see. So here on the top on the view tab we've got the word theme and if I drop down you'll see that there is a none selected. Well if we change this now to a default you'll notice the theme changing lighting up becoming a lighter room, sunlight coming in over this area. So that's what a default does. But we can go further. Perhaps we could choose a clear sky. So here's a clear sky. We've got a light, bright room. The room itself has been lightened just slightly. And now if I come in and choose a cloudy day, for instance, you notice the room just darkens very slightly, but the theme of lighting down here is disappeared. So you're beginning to get the feel for it now. So if we were to say midday sun, let's see what that produces. So it's a nice light bright room. Sunlight fanning through one of the windows on the right hand side there, all across the units and across the floor. Well, wonder what else we could produce in here. Let's have a look at night time. Fairly obvious, the lights are now gone, it's dark, no direct sunlight coming in here. And don't forget, with backgrounds, we can always darken that scene a little bit if we needed to. But in themes, sunrise. Now sunrise is an interesting effect because it produces a yellowish light but the angle has changed and I'll tackle that for you in a moment. So sunrise early in the morning perhaps and then latterly sunset and the sunlight is a roughly the same angle but it becomes more orange so it's a different glow of sun's rise altogether. And those are the eight themes that you've got going on in there but we've got further interest Look at this set of settings here. If, for instance, I want the light to move through a different window, so let's go and see what it says on the north side. Same window, same camera position. You'll notice now that it's come through the circular window against my back and also the door. Well, if we now come up to the northeast direction, it's going to come through this window. And there we are. Truly amazing. Even picking up that corner with the circular window. Well, northwest, picking it up, putting it through the opposite window. And you'll see even the plant is creating a shadow. Now I just want to explain what else goes on in here. It's more about the angle, just there, the angle of it. So when you set up a theme, it's also affecting the angle. If I go straight from sunset to midday sun, notice what happens just here, the angle. is being automatically set at 45 degrees because the scenario is that the sun is now high in the sky. But you can also affect this. If I were to change that back to 25 and press enter on the keyboard, the sun is still bright, but now it's lower in the sky. Heaven forbid, could you actually say it's the autumn sun, perhaps? It really is autumn. 
So there we have this ability to change any of these angles with any of these themes. Sunrise, again it resets itself back to 25 degrees. But notice what I do if I press 45 and enter. The angle of the sun has changed but the colour is the same and all of this is done simply with the power of Fusion FX. Truly amazing. We've also got further control in here brightening up just moving these slide bars across very slightly will render it and it will just lighten the room if you wanted it to. And the button marked scene is all about the ambient light within the room. For those people that remember the earlier versions, ambient light is just in there. We can make it brighter or darker just by adjusting what used to be called the ambient light. All of those things can be done easily. And just one small thing in there. We can also change over here the overall render values, making them darker just by moving these slide bars. Still bringing in the sunlight, but just now bringing it up so it, it is at its normal setting. And perhaps the contrast just changing, flaring it out or toning it down according to the style of door that you're actually choosing. Remember some of the basics, wooden doors absorb more light than glossy reflective doors such as I'm using in this example. And if we go up and choose finally backgrounds, we've got in here the background brightness. So in there it's a range of 200 to 0. Normal would be 100. So if I change that down to 25 now and press OK, watch what happens to the view out of the window. So that's how you can really truly make nighttime themes more realistic. Because not only is the room darker, but the outside appears to be darker. Just working all of these things with yourself. So choosing in here what you're doing with your backgrounds, background brightness, going up to perhaps 150. Let's see what difference that makes for you. So bright outside, reflecting in the door, but still dark in the room because right now we're choosing nighttime. But if I move on to sunrise, again the angle's changed, the light in the room has changed. So you have a huge amount of control in here. And I hope you really enjoy this now and you'll reap the benefits of it. Just understand themes are connected with angles, which are connected with the brightness within the room and latterly the brightness outside of the window through the scene, whichever one you choose. Please look out for more masterclasses. There are very many more.